Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's The Clumsy Simmer and as you guys could probably tell by the thumbnail and the title, I am doing a full rebuild or build, should I say, of Newcrest. That is every single lot is going to be filled up with uh, houses and community lots that I make. And every single house besides maybe one or two is going to have households in there. Uh, whether that be one sim, a whole family, Whatever it may be, I am going to do it and it is going to be base game only. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, definitely subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss an episode because I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are excited as well uh, to see me build base game only and do a whole series on it of building Newcrest. I've never actually done this before um, the houses, you know, I'm really not nervous about the houses, but I am a little bit nervous about the community lots. I am not a good community lot builder at all. Um, it's just not my forte. I don't know. I just need more practice. So I'm definitely going to be doing it. And like I said, it's going to be base game only. So I'm not sure exactly how well the community the lots are going to turn out, but I do have faith that the houses are going to turn out great. Um, I've had lots of practice with base game only houses. Community lots are a different story, so we will see. I hope you guys stick around to watch it, but let's get into this build. So this is a very first build of the series, and it's actually for a single mom. <laughs> I know that I've posted single mom starter homes before. But I don't know, there's just, I really wanted to put a single mom in one of the starter homes in this series that I'm doing. So that is what I'm doing here. And uh, this actually was inspired off of a reference picture that I seen. And I will try to remember to paste the reference picture on the screen. Um, I It's not exactly the same but it's, it's pretty inspired by it. Like the round picture in the front, not not picture, the round window in the very front. I've never actually used that round window, I don't believe. Um, not for a build that I've actually finished. I've tried using it, but I can never make it look good. And after some fiddling around with this build, I was finally able to make it look pretty good. And now I want to use it all the time. Like, I'm going to definitely try to find another house to use it with. There's just something about it that's, like, so crisp and clean. Like, I don't know exactly what, what about it just makes it so uh, good. <laughs> um, but I do like it, and I do wish they had actual like windows to go along with that circular window. Um, the best window that you can get are the ones that I pulled out and it's like the cheapest base game window, which worked out perfectly because this is a starter home. So I need cheap, but that actually ended up being like the best looking too. Like it actually matches. So I was happy about that. I was really nervous about using that circular window because I thought I wasn't going to be able to find any smaller windows to match it, you know, but I actually think it looks pretty good. It, it looks as good as we have. And then also those uh, doors there, uh, obviously base game only because this is a base game only build, but it actually goes with those windows really well too. So I was happy about that. And something else that I don't normally do is put the front door on the side of the house like that. Um, I don't ever do that. I've seen other people do it and I really like the way that it comes out when other people do it. But for some reason, every single time I have tried to do it, it just looks so like weird and not natural, uh, if you know what I mean. But that this reference picture that I copied from for this house, basically not really copied, but I it was inspired by that reference picture. Um, it's the door is also on the side, so maybe that's why it worked out so well. Uh, at the very beginning, if you guys seen it, I'm not sure if you did. I did try to put the the door like in the front facing the camera, but that really looked off. So 
the best place is right there for the door. And so this house, you know, I'm really happy with the way it turned out because it's it's different than I normally do on the house. Um, I am happy with the way it turned out. However, I am not that big of a fan of the kitchen. Um, I think I should have left that wallpaper that's in the kitchen right now that kind of has like that sunny orange flower on the bottom of it and it's blue at the top. I end up changing that. Now I'm kind of thinking I should have left it. It just didn't really go with the rest of the house. The rest of the house is kind of pastel -y and kind of spring inspired. That was another thing that was inspiring me with this house is that spring is coming. I think spring, the first day of spring, um, is like this week sometime. It's March 13th as I'm recording this and it's actually gonna go out today as well. So I know spring's around this time of the year. I think it's after St. Patrick's Day. I'm not 100% sure, but it is on the horizon. I can feel it in the air. I can feel it in my nostrils because of the pollen. Um, the pollen is horrible this year. Are you guys having the same problem with the pollen? Um, I don't know how it is in other states, but here in Florida, in Central Florida, the pollen is just terrible. Uh, everyone's got like allergies right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope it doesn't last for the whole time of spring. I hope it's just the very beginning. Everything's blooming. And uh, yeah, after it blooms, I hope the pollen goes bye-bye. Cause I do love spring, but I do not love the pollen. It absolutely sucks. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about the build. Um, this build happened very, very quickly. <laughs> uh, that's kind of what happens with starter homes. You only have a limited amount of money. And so by time you're like, you put like the couch and the TV, then you got to go to the next room. You got to put all the necessities, right? And once you're done with the necessities, you kind of run out of money. Uh, something I do have to say though, this infant has a really, really good room for having a broke mom. <laughs> and, and I don't really mean that figuratively. I mean it literally because the family in this household is Bryn Broke, who is the mom, and the little daughter, daughter is Bree Broke. And yes, they are related to the Broke family. <laughs> um, also related to the newbie family, Bob and Betty newbie from Sims 1. They are iconic. If you know the Sims and you're a fan of the Sims, then you will know who Bob and Betty is. Uh, if you don't, then you're not a real fan. No, I'm just joking. Uh, but Bob and Betty, those are her great grandparents. And their daughter is Brandy Broke from the Sims 2, who is also iconic. And her sons, she has like three sons in the sense too unless you made her have more babies uh so there was dustin broke um <laughs> bo broke i could not remember his name for the life of me for a second so there's dustin broke which is the oldest bo broke which is the youngest at the time and she's actually pregnant when you first start the game in sims 2 and more times than not that baby will be a male and so I don't know the rest of the lore. Um, I don't know like the name that baby's supposed to have. But I was kind of thinking um, Bryn's dad was Bo Broke. And so Brandy's her great or is her grandmother. And then Bo is her father. And now there is her. And her story, she is on my gallery if you guys want to download her or go check her out i did record a video of myself making her but i i'm just i'm not gonna post it um it's kind of short and it's just her and an infant and it's kind of like i don't know i have the video still if you guys would like to see it let me know and i will make a video on it but i don't have any plans on it right now so yeah um i do have a little bit of a storyline for her i know this is a starter house build but really guys there's really not much to say about it. Um, it's like a basic starter home. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit of story about the family that lives here. So like I was saying, um, this is Bryn Broke and Bree Broke. And Bryn actually is just like her grandma, Brandy. 
in more ways than not <laughs> um one of the major things that they have in common is they actually both lost their husband and it it involved a pool ladder in both cases uh yeah so that's all i'm gonna say on that i'll let you guys use your imagination on the rest but um yeah that's the main thing they have in common so now Bryn, poor Bryn, is finding herself to be a single mom. And the only reason why she could afford this house is because she did have her late husband living here with her. But after the accident, he is no longer around. So she really, really needs to find a job. She doesn't have one at the moment. Um, she really doesn't know what she wants to do. She never really thought she would have to worry about finding a job. She thought she would have, she'd be able to be a stay-at-home mom. But now that she is a single mom, it's really very important she goes out and works. So she has no idea what she wants to do. I'll let you guys help her on that if you do decide to download her off the gallery. And so, yeah, that is the little bit of the backstory. Um, now back to the build. This, all of this landscaping you see is debugged besides these yellow flowers. I could not find any like bright yellow flowers like this in debug besides like one. And I really don't like the way that those particular ones look. And so I was like, you know what? She has a little bit of money that she can spare. Let me just get these uh, flowers that I literally always use. Uh, sorry guys, I know I always use them. They're just like the best flowers and they're big and they take up space. <laughs> so, and they're pretty too and I like them. And I almost did like a blue yellow combination thing, but that just looked a little too much to me. And so I just changed it yellow. Uh, not only do I use these flowers all the time, but I also use the yellow swatch all the time. Um, that, it's it's not my fault though those are just like the best ones in the game <laughs> i don't know what else to say and i also like use these um like vine things to go around them because it just makes it look like overgrown and stuff and i really really like that and i also put some more debug like bushes over here by the tree i don't know you guys can delete that if you need more space like when um little brie grows up into a child she is going to need some more space to run around and have some monkey bars. And so, yeah, y'all can delete that if you want to. I almost thought about it just so there's there could be more space. But I kind of like when the landscaping is all, like, um, filled up like this, you know. So I left it. <laughs> and I kind of thought whoever lived here was kind of into gardening. So... Maybe one of Bren's hobbies is gardening. And um, that's kind of morbid now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> when you think about what happened to her husband. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna change the subject. <laughs> um, but anyways, we are actually nearing the screenshot. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, it's on the gallery, which is linked down below. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness